Hello everyone. Well, it's a while since I featured a vacuum cleaner with a smiley face, so I thought it was high time I got this new vac out of my garage and unboxed it for you. Now, new vac is just another company under the pneumatic brand to make, of course, the famous Henry and Hetty and Charles and George cleaners. This is more for commercial use. You can buy these quite easily online or eBay and they're relatively cheap, but they're just a more commercial version, but basically they're very similar to the standard Henry. So this one is, we might be able to check the model. This is model VNR200-11. It's 9.35 kilograms and it's in grey and black. So do not adjust your sets. This is a grey and black pneumatic vacuum cleaner. No bright colours for this machine. Now I'm not sure why the filter is on the top of this. It was possibly like this when I got it. I have to admit I have checked this over because I bought it on eBay quite a while ago and I just had to give it a quick look to make sure it was okay. Um, so here's the filter anyway, which isn't, according to pneumatic, isn't washable, but yeah, you can carefully wash them. Now this one, ah, a little bit different because we're o we've only got two tools. I'm not sure if that's correct. I'll check. I'm assuming the instruction book's in here. It's a while since I got it. We've only got a dusting brush and a crevice tool. We don't seem to have the small nozzle with the slide off brush. Now this is a different cleaner head to the domestic versions because as you can see it's more the traditional style with a nice metal base plate. We've got two litter pickers, side suction channels and two foot operated pedals. So with the brush up, that's suitable for carpets, and press on the pedal at this side, and the brush lowers itself all the way around. It just leaves a little gap for the side suction channels. So that's for your hard floor. It's also got a little parking bracket. I think the cleaner's got a parking bracket, but I'm not sure. So yeah, that's a different nozzle to the standard Henry and Hetty nozzles you get with the domestic cleaners. This is like James because it's got an aluminium set instead of the chrome, so still strong, um, but much, much lighter. And you've also got, let's put down that wand, you've also got suction control that just opens a vent. You can just about see where am I going? There, yes, opens the vent to reduce the suction and then closes it off for maximum suction. Two wands, again, aluminium, so they are, they are very light. A hose, and on this one, it's not actually a tapered hose. It's the same diameter all the way through. And it looks slightly shorter, perhaps, than the standard uh, Henry hose. Out comes the cleaner. There he is. And inside the box, oh, we do actually have, I haven't shown an energy label for a while on a new unboxing because we don't seem to have the uh, energy labels, the EU energy labels anymore. And that's nothing to do with the fact that the UK are leaving the EU. I believe there was uh, some problem with the accuracy of a lot of energy labels on vacuums, so they've done away with some of the labelling. You still get some details put on new vacuums, but not everything. So this one gets an A rating for energy use, a C rating for dust emission, an E for dust pickup for carpets, an E for dust pickup from hard floor. It's 74 decibels in uh, noise level and it uses on average 27.9 kilowatt hours per annum. So here he is, the new vac out of the box. 
quite uh, sad looking in this rather dull grey colour but we've still got the smiley happy face and it is a 3D face so if you want you can remove the face but this it's not a nice bright colour this is meant really for commercial use so I suppose people vacuuming a shop or an office aren't particularly bothered what colour the vacuum is as long as, as long as the vacuum picks up the dirt it could be red white and blue or pink whatever <laughs> they're not bothered most people most people aren't really bothered about the colour of their vacuum unless you happen to be a fan of this channel you might <laughs> you might have a preference but there we go this one's grey so this new vac is based on a larger bodied Henry so it's more equivalent to the standard personally I prefer the compact Hetty and Henry versions they're just a little bit smaller they're easier to handle and a little bit lighter for domestic use but they take the same size bags the filter is slightly smaller um, and I was really pleased when Pneumatic introduced the more compact version you can you know it's a compact version by 160 should be somewhere in the model if it's a full size it will have 200 as this one is a VNR 200 that means it's the full sized machine so if we take the lid off ah right that is why I'm not sure if you get two but for some reason I've got two in my box I don't know why so just take it as read that you get one if you get two it's a bonus I'm not sure if two is standard comment below if you know that two is standard anyway here is the other filter and we have one bag fitted I don't think there was any bags with this and this takes pneumatics HEPA flow bag NVM-1CH with a red collar you've got a nice sort of seal and you've also got a little flap that you can close over the end of the open bag so when it's full when you're carrying it to the bin you've not got any dust escaping very widely available bags for pneumatic cleaners and I suggest you buy the original they're strong they're large and they're designed for the cleaner don't skimp and say, save a few pounds on buying non-genuine bags it's not worth it it's always best to get the real thing so here's the bucket and basically the bag just fits over this tube here underneath two swivel casters and two wheels at the back and they've got a sort of a, a rubber grip so they'll be suitable for hard floors as well they won't skate about on hard floor they should grip the hard floor and we do actually have yes on this one we do have the bracket that holds the main tool so it does have a parking bracket but unlike the later Henry and Hetty cleaners there is no tool storage on board so you don't have that with this model right I'll just pop the bag back in just have to open up the flap again and it says this way up on it just here so basically we just push it onto the tube with the writing uppermost and then make sure that we put the filter in place like that so here's the motor unit obviously the motor is located under here and if I can see I might be able to tell you the brand of motor there's some printing on it I haven't told you the wattage yet have I da -da -da. I can't quite see certainly a lot of writing and let's have a look oh, here at the top this is where we can see the rating plate so this model is 220 to 240 volts it has a 620 watt motor pneumatic international limited shard england and the serial number is 1845063033 and it weighs 8 kilograms on the top of the motor unit we've got a single on off rocker switch and here on some models there would be a light but as you can see on this new vac it's been blanked off so it's really quite a basic bare bones vacuum cleaner 
Also on the top of the motor unit we've got the built-in carry handle that lifts up so you can easily carry the machine and folds down when in use or when you're storing the cleaner away. We've also got the pneumatic cord reel so basically we can pull out the mains cable and I'm assuming on this model it will be about 10 meters. Nice long length. It keeps going. There we go. And of course, when you've finished cleaning, you have to wind up the cable to store it all away. So here's Nuvac's face. So at the moment, he can see, he can smell, and he can speak. In a moment, I'm going to remove the ability of this vacuum cleaner to see and speak. Still be able to smell what I'm doing, but he won't be able to complain about it. We'll have to think of a name. Can you think of a name, folks? Because it's a bit sad calling this vacuum new vac. <laughs> this vacuum has a personality. It's not a Henry, it's not a Hetty, a Jar Charles, a George, a James. So comment below what name you'd like to see me calling this vacuum cleaner the next time you may see it. Of course, we've got Bertie, haven't we? Have we got a Bertie? We've had a Bertie. We've had a Wendy as well. What's that other one? Henry Hound. Harry, that's it. I was forgetting. We always forget Harry, don't we? Poor Harry. So I'm going to try and fiddle off, <laughs> take off his face. So in a blink of an eye, you're going to see this vacuum with no personality. Ta-da! Doesn't that look sad? And now we can pop the motor unit back on so we can get the full effect of what this new that looks like without the nice happy smiling f oh dear I mean even putting the hose on I don't think it's going to help let's just get the hose screw the hose into position or the nose I don't know that there's something quite sad and upsetting isn't there about that seeing this vacuum cleaner now it's just an everyday boring gray and black vacuum cleaner with no personality the face really makes a difference and i've said so before in um, other videos i've done on pneumatic cleaners and there's quite a lot of them if you want to check my playlist i've said before whoever in the pneumatic company decided to put a face on the vacuum cleaners once an award because what a genius thing to do and the, of course the earlier versions would have just had a sticker it's sort of the later versions although this 3d face has been available or on cleaners for quite some time it just makes it look a little bit better now how do we do it i think we locate it at the top first and push it down oh there we are certainly easier to put on than it is to take off to take it off you've got to very carefully lever it away from these tabs at the top and then twist the face um, anti-clockwise and then it comes off right we've got the face back all is well i'm terribly sorry about that little pneumatic uh new vac um please forgive me i will never do it again okay he's plugged in Let's turn him on. Quite a lot of suction. Considering. Considering we've only got a 620 watt motor. Now this is going to be a first for me on this channel because I don't think I've ever got my suction gauge on one of these so when uh, the EU introduced the new vacuum laws a few years ago now when they started meddling with our vacuums to limit the wattage we always knew that that would be the first phase and then the second phase came in to limit the wattage even more so at the time of making this video vacuum cleaners sold in the EU on the whole there are some exceptions but on the whole they have to be under 900 watts and pneumatic went further than the previous legislation which ooh, I'm not sure I can't remember now so long ago I don't know if the maximum was 1600 or 1200 watts when they first introduced the limit but anyway 
whatever that was, Pneumatic went above and beyond and they made all their cleaners compliant with the regulations we have now because they thought, well, there's no point in adjusting them again for a second time. Let's just get it right first time. Now, there's one, another thing that's missing actually, I've just realized, there's no little black plastic adapter. Most pneumatic cleaners will come with a little black piece and you, you get out the box and you think, what's that for? Well, that piece is designed so you can fit the small cleaning tools directly to the hose. And that's ideal if you say cleaning the car because it's, it makes it more compact and you can get right in you know, the nooks and crannies under the car seat. Otherwise, you need to put on the handle piece. This can be used in different ways, um, so it's a different angle. You can put it on that way, or you can put it on that way, whichever's more comfortable for you. I think always, normally, that way is my preferred way of doing it. I'm putting the handle on. It's not gonna make much difference to the suction. It'll give me a better seal, because you can see this hose end it's angled and that's because you can just use it like this if you just want to take the handle off and just grab the hose end to pick up something you can't reach with the main nozzle you can do that so that's why it's at an angle so we can push it on this will be interesting because I've never as I said done a suction test with a pneumatic mm -hmm. so I'm making sure that that's closed so we get the full suction and of course we've got an empty bag the suction may drop off slightly as the bag fills so I'm going to make a tight seal with my vacuum gauge and we'll see where we get to a good vacuum suction only vacuum suction cleaner canister would be on around 80 or more so we'll see what we get with this pneumatic new vac <laughs> Well, it looked like the gauge was fluctuating between 80 and 90, which is pretty impressive considering this vacuum only has a 620 watt motor. I've got vacuum cleaners that are over 2000 watts that don't produce anywhere near the suction power of this new vac by Pneumatic. So it is very effective at converting electrical power, watts, into suction power. Now then, it's time to have a go with the nozzle. Now, some of my regular viewers will know that this is a fairly new carpet and it's quite a plush pile. It's not deep, but it's plush. And I found a lot of my vacuum cleaners are pretty hard to push on it. Some can't cope with this pile, especially some of my cordless machines. The motors just cut out. They just cannot cope. So I'm wondering if this smooth metal-based nozzle will be easier to push than some of those low energy plastic nozzles I've shown you on a few of the other vacuum cleaners. So we'll attach the nozzle to the lightweight ones and the handle to the end of the one there. And we'll give this new vac a little bit of a push. Oh dear, well, as you saw, I had a bit of trouble with this one. It will go one way, but not the other. But of course, this vacuum is meant for commercial cleaning and commercial carpets don't tend to have a deep pile. If you look in hotels and offices, they're always very short pile, which are a lot easier to clean um, than this, this particular carpet I've got, this domestic carpet. I'll try it going a different way because I found with some of my vacuums, if I go against the pile, I can't do it. But if I go with the pile, it's a bit easier. So let's move the old new vac and we'll try this way on.
Well, it was a little bit better actually going this way, but it still skipped when I pulled the nozzle back. I'm just going to reduce the suction power by opening up the vent. We'll try again. So yes, I think a little bit too much suction because with the vent open, it was still hard to push, but I could do it. But as I said, don't uh, go by the results I've just had on this carpet because if you've seen my other videos with vacuums on this carpet, there's not many vacuum cleaners that like it. And the ones that do like this particular pile of carpet tend to be some of the vintage machines, not the modern ones. But, but if you've got short pile carpets, it's fine. You can, if you want to, fit the pneumatic turbo head, which I haven't actually tried yet. That's something I have to do in a future video. I need to try um, perhaps my Heti, Heti Extra that I've got with the turbo head, the large newer version turbo head. I have to see how she copes with this carpet. But I know if I was to open my living room door, into my hall, I'll just give it a quick go because the carpet in my hall is the carpet that used to be in the living room. I've got the same carpet throughout the rest of the house. All the other carpets fine, but I needed to replace my living room carpet because it had a lot of wear and it had a lot of dirt thrown on it over the years. But all the other carpet is the original carpet I had when we moved into the house. So I'll give the nozzle a quick push over a short pile carpet on maximum power, maximum suction. So I've closed off the vent and I think it will be much easier to push. So yes, on a regular pile carpet, much easier to push. It's when you go onto this much thicker plush pile, it is considerably deeper and plusher than this. So it's no good if you've got a plush carpet, but regular carpet like this, even slightly deeper pile, it'll be fine on. It's just avoid using it on one of these plush carpets or Better still, don't buy one of these plush carpets. I regret getting this now, but I'm stuck with it for at least another 10 years. Well, there you go. That's the new vac by Pneumatic. If you're interested in buying one of these, they cost, at the time of making the video, around 120 pounds. If I find a link to where you can get one, I'll put a link below the video. As I said, not suitable really for plush pile carpet like this, but for regular carpet, it's fine. But this is more suited really, if you've got a shop or an office, that sort of commercial environment. This is where this sort of machine works really well. You could use it in your garage or if you've got a car cleaning business, ideal for cleaning out the car. You can, of course, buy additional tools. You can buy extra long hose for it so it can reach around the car much easier. They take bags, but the bags are cheap and large. And it's just a very robust machine. Nice long mains cable. I believe it will be 10 meters on this machine. Just a reliable, powerful workhorse. But possibly this particular one not quite suited for domestic use. But uh, if you want a pneumatic personally, and one that doesn't fall down, I would go for a Heti or Henry Compact, the 160 version. Um, and if you've got pets, I would go for the Heti Extra or the Henry Extra that has the additional turbo tool, which helps deal with pet hair much easier. There is a Henry Pet as well, which I have demonstrated on my channel. But at the time of making the video, that particular model only comes with quite a narrow 
turbo nozzle so you really need to upgrade to get the larger turbo nozzle as well but you can buy kits the nozzles and uh, complete kits from myhenry.co.uk that's uh, direct from pneumatic where you'll find the full range of these I'm not sure you'll still still see these though on pneumatic's website it's possible that the grey new vacs are discontinued but quick search online and you will still find them available this larger version and the lighter version that's based more on the pneumatic james which doesn't have the cable rewind built in it's a bit more of a simpler cleaner but it's ideal if you want something very basic and you can possibly pick one of those up for around 80 to 90 pounds so a little bit cheaper if you have any comments or questions about this new vac and if you can give this nameless vacuum cleaner a name a clean name please nothing nothing rude please comment below and hopefully one day you'll see this cleaner again possibly joined by a lot of his pneumatic family so thanks for watching again and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.